Now I've sent this robot home to its charging station and what I'm going to do is now it's going to follow the boundary wire path back to the charging station. Now what I want to tell you a part of the boundary wire and why it's so important is obstacles impeding the boundary wire. Most likely if your robot grass is uneven for whatever reason it's because as it's returning back on the boundary wire back to the charging station remember the perimeter wire all around your property there's an obstacle most likely a stick or a toy or a twig or a branch whatever it has blocked the path of the robot so you know what during the first couple weeks you know of your installation especially you want to really make sure my robot has returned successfully back to the garage there, right there. And I want to make sure, hey, my little garage there has been, it's actually made it back inside there successfully. And it's not just stuck randomly, you know, on a branch out here. And let me show you an example. Let's assume my foot, that's how safe these things are. If I put my foot down in front of it, it's going to stop. And it's going to, it can't deviate from the path typically. This is how it's going to behave. It's just going to keep backing forward and back. So there's a branch or a toy or a stick here on the boundary wire path as it's returning back. And we're going to see what happens with it. Let me remove my foot. Let's, let's give our robot friend a break. But you see the point. It's not deviating from the path. It's not trying to loop around the boundary wire path to go around that object. This robot is quite stupid when it comes to that. And what I'm trying to say is, say if there was a branch off the boundary wire path right there, instead of right here, it was right here. This wouldn't be that big of a deal compared to if it was right over here. When it's on the boundary wire path going back to the charging station, rocks, sticks, and debris are much more, much more likely to make the robot not work and get stuck. So that's the major, uh, another major problem that people have when operating the robot and just understanding, okay, if I'm doing some landscape work, say back here on my, uh, my bed back here of some crab grass and stuff that I'm trying to spray down. You can see the weeds over there dying. I'm spraying them down with some experimental stuff. Um, you can see here, for instance, if uh, I put bags of mulch here for landscaping right here on the boundary wire path, the robot will get stuck here and it won't work. And then you'll be like, Baron, your robot stinks. It's getting stuck. Well, not really. I'm trying to teach you how to do it. If I put the bag of mulch out here, there's much, much, much less likely that our robot will get stuck. And I'm just trying to teach you that the perimeter wire is a the very important aspect and the only way this robot can actually return back to the charging station. Nothing can block its path back to the charging station or it will get stuck and won't work. This is a common problem with this robot and probably one of the major reasons why your robot isn't working or hasn't been working. So you got to clean up the yard, pick up your sticks once a week typically, especially if you go after a storm or something like that, you might want to try to be a little bit more diligent in picking up the sticks because this robot works fantastic. It's going to cut your grass seven days a week and it's going to make your yard look amazing as it's returning those fresh clippings back to the earth. Um, but you have to be diligent on picking up debris in the yard. So that's one negative if you want to say, but it's also you'd have to do that with traditional mowers and traditional mowers are more dangerous because of the vacuum and the power of those blades that it sucks up. will spit out those sticks and stuff. So I'm trying to make myself very clear uh, on this and one major reasons why these robots and I go out to a lot of properties and I see these things stuck and so and the main reason why they're stuck is that there has been some obstacle that has impeded the boundary wire path. So I'm telling you in this video that's a big troubleshooting point that you need to know.